Russia. The world's largest country straddling Europe and Asia has a storied history from the medieval Rus to Soviet empires, culminating in what we now know as modern Russia. The cultural tapestry showcases Tolstoy's epic literature, Tchaikovsky's symphonies, and a deep-rooted appreciation for ballet. Russians are often known as resilient, stoic, with a love for saunas, vodka, and their strange dolls. Famous foods include borscht, pelmeni, and blini. Notable landmarks include the iconic Red Square and Kremlin, the colorful domes of St. Basil's Cathedral, and the Trans-Siberian Railway. Turkey a nation bridging two continents that has a rich history spanning from the ancient civilizations of Troy and Byzantine to the Ottoman Empire and the modern Republic. Turks are often seen as passionate, hospitable, and with a fondness for tea that rivals any global obsession. Famous foods include kebabs, baklava, and the breakfast spread of cement and white cheese. Notable landmarks include the ancient city of Ephesus, the fairy tale landscapes of Cappadocia, and the stunning landscapes of Pumakali, Germany. A nation steeped in history and cultural richness has evolved from the Holy Roman Empire, Prussian monarchy, and into what we now know today following World War II. Germans are often characterized as efficient, disciplined, and lovers of precision, reflecting the country's renowned engineering abilities. Germans are known for their love of sausages, pretzels, and schnitzels, helping them build notable landmarks including the historic Brandenburg Gate, Neuschwanstein Castle, and the Cologne Cathedral. And remember, just because they're German doesn't mean they dress like this. France. From its medieval origins and renaissance to the French Revolution and beyond, France has been a cradle of art, philosophy, and political ideals. The French are often associated with romance, fashion, and a love for wine and cheese. But when it comes to food, be sure to try iconic dishes such as coque au vin, escargot, and pastries, but avoid the snails. France's most iconic landmarks include the Eiffel Tower, the Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Palace of Versailles. But just ignore the millions of corpses buried underneath Paris. The United Kingdom one of the world's oldest empires and home to literary giants like Shakespeare, Dickens, and Rowling, the UK has been a hub for artistic and intellectual innovation. Stereotypically, the British are often seen as rude, reserved, and tea enthusiasts, embodying a certain sense of traditionalism. British food is known to be quite terrible, featuring iconic dishes such as fish and chips, roast dinners, and afternoon tea. Notable landmarks include the historic Tower of London, the majestic Buckingham Palace, and the prehistoric Stonehenge. But just be careful walking around London because some people will try and steal everything that you own. Italy. With a history that spans from the ancient Roman Empire through the Renaissance and into what we know today, its cultural contributions include masterpieces by Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Dante, reflecting a legacy of art, literature, and philosophy. Stereotypically, Italians are characterized as passionate, family-oriented, and lovers of good food and fashion. Iconic Italian dishes include pasta, pizza, gelato, and espresso. Notable landmarks include the Colosseum, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and the art-filled city of Florence. Spain. A country with a rich and varied history has been shaped by diverse influences, including Moorish rule, the Reconquista, the era of exploration, and works of artists like Goya and Picasso. Stereotypically, Spaniards are often associated with a siesta lifestyle, warmth, and a penchant for lively celebrations. Spanish cuisine, marked by paella, tapas, and flavorful chorizo, reflects a Mediterranean culinary tradition celebrated worldwide. Notable landmarks include the historic Alhambra, the vibrant Park Giel, and the iconic Plaza Mayor. Ukraine. Situated at the crossroads of Eastern Europe, Ukraine has a complex history that includes the medieval Kievan Rus, periods of foreign domination, and Soviet rule before gaining independence in 1991. Stereotypically, Ukrainians are often perceived as resilient, hospitable, and proud of their cultural identity. Ukrainian cuisine features famous dishes like borscht and vernyaki, with notable landmarks including the St. Sophia's Cathedral, the historic city of Lviv, and the Carpathian Mountains. Poland. With a history marked by resilience and a rich cultural heritage, has faced periods of conquest and partition, yet emerged as a sovereign nation. From the medieval Piast dynasty to the solidarity movement that played a crucial role in ending communist rule, Poland has demonstrated a steadfast commitment to its national identity. Poles are often perceived as hardworking, welcoming, and proud of their history, but they're most known for their love of pierogies, kabasa, and hearty soups like Zurich. Notable landmarks include the historic Wawel Castle, the Auschwitz Museum, and the reconstructed Old Town of Warsaw. And if Germany says nothing's gonna happen to Poland, it's probably time to prepare for war. Kazakhstan. The world's largest landlocked country has a history intertwined with the nomadic cultures of the Central European steppes, followed by the Mongol and Turkic influences, and later a period as a part of the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union. Its diverse culture is shaped by the coexistence of various ethnic groups, embodying a fusion of traditional Kazakh customs and Soviet legacies. Kazakhs are often depicted as proud and hospitable. Kazakh cuisine is known for dishes such as boiled meat with pasta and plov, drawing from nomadic and Turkic culinary traditions. Notable landmarks include the 
the Cheren Canyon, Mausoleum of Kaja Ahmed Yazawi, oh, and who can forget the most famous person of this country? Romania. A nation nestled in the heart of Eastern Europe boasts a history shaped by the Dacians, Romans, Byzantines, and later the medieval principality of Wallachia and Transylvania. Its cultural tapestry is woven with influences from Ottoman and Austro-Hungarian empires, evident in architecture, folklore, and traditions. Romanians are often seen as hospitable, resilient, and deeply connected to their rule of roots. Romanian cuisine includes cornmeal porridge, cabbage rolls, and grilled sausages, reflecting a blend of Balkan, Hungarian, and Turkish culinary elements. Notable landmarks include the stunning castles of Bran and Pele, the painted monasteries of Bukovina, and the medieval town of Sibiu. But remember, just because someone's Romanian doesn't make them a thief. The Netherlands, with a history marked by maritime prowess and artistic achievements, has evolved from the Dutch Golden Age, when it was a global trading power to a modern constitutional monarchy. Dutch culture is characterized by a commitment to tolerance, evidenced in its liberal social policies and diverse society. The Dutch are often seen as tall, pragmatic, and fond of cycling, with a reputation for direct communication. Dutch cuisine, while not as internationally renowned as some, features comfort foods such as stroopwafels, buffetjes, and cheese. Notable landmarks include the historic Anne Frank House, the iconic windmills, and the medieval town of Utrecht. But most notably, the Netherlands is best known for its red light districts and magical fun plants. Belgium. Situated at the crossroads of Western Europe, has a history marked by the medieval Duchy of Burgundy, Spanish and Austrian rule, and its role as a battlefield in both world wars. Its unique cultural identity reflects a blend of French and Dutch influences, evident in its dual language regions. Belgians are often characterized as diplomatic, chocolate-loving, and aficionados of beer. Belgian cuisine is celebrated for its waffles, chocolates, and a diverse array of beer styles. Belgium's most iconic landmarks include the Grand Palace in Brussels, the medieval Belfry of Bruges, and the Atomium. And just because Belgians are bullied by the French and Dutch doesn't mean they're actually dumb. Greece. An ancient civilization with a legacy that's contributed to the foundations of Western culture. From the classical era when philosophers like Socrates and Aristotle flourished, to the Byzantine Empire and the enduring influence of Greek mythology, the country's history is a tapestry of intellectual, artistic, and political achievements. Greeks are associated with a warm hospitality, a zest for life, and a strong sense of family. Greek cuisine is known for its love of olives, feta cheese, moussaka, and souvlaki. Notable landmarks include the ancient ruins of the Acropolis, the historic city of Olympia, and the stunning Santorini with the iconic whitewashed buildings. The Czech Republic, formerly part of Czechoslovakia, has a history that spans from the medieval kingdom of Bohemia to the Velvet Revolution, marking its transition from communism to democracy. Czech culture is deeply rooted in literature, music, and film, where Czechs are often perceived as reserved, beer-loving, and possessing a dry sense of humor, creating dishes like goulash, marinated beef, and sweet pastries. Notable landmarks include the historic Prague Castle, the iconic Charles Bridge, and the astronomical clock in the Old Town Square. And if you love one-night stands, then Prague is the place for you. Sweden. With a history that includes the Viking Age, the influential Kalmar Union, and a modern era marked by neutrality and conflicts, boasts a cultural heritage rooted in literature, design, and social welfare. Swedish culture is synonymous with a commitment to equality, environmental sustainability, and innovation. Swedes are often seen as reserved, egalitarian, and lovers of nature. Swedish cuisine, while less internationally renowned, features traditional dishes such as meatballs, gravlax, and cinnamon buns. Notable landmarks include Stockholm's Royal Palace, the historic Gamla Stan, and the Vasa Museum but their best innovation of all, IKEA. Portugal. With a history shaped by maritime exploration during the Age of Discovery, has transitioned from a powerful seafaring empire to a modern European nation. Portuguese culture is deeply rooted in fado music, intricate azulejo tiles, and the literary works of Pessoa and Saramago. The Portuguese are often characterized as warm, laid back, and passionate about football, where their cuisine is renowned for dishes like salted cod, pastel de nata, and port wine. Notable landmarks include Lisbon's historic Bellum Tower, the picturesque town of Sintra, and Porto's Dom Luis Bridge. And remember, if you really want to make them angry, remind them that Messi is better than Ronaldo. Azerbaijan, situated at the crossroads of Eastern Europe and Western Asia, has a history marked by Persian, Russian, and Ottoman influences, becoming an independent nation in 1918 before being conquered by the Soviets and finally regaining independence in 1991. Its cultural tapestry includes the intricate art of carpet weaving, Mugham music, and the legacy of medieval poets like Nizami Ganjavi. Azerbaijanis are often seen as hospitable, proud of their cultural heritage, and avid tea drinkers, where their cuisine is celebrated for dishes like plov, dolma, and baklava, with famous landmarks including the Flame Towers in Baku, the ancient city of Shaki, and the Gobastan rock art cultural landscape. Hungary. With a history shaped by the Magyar, Mongols, 
Ottoman, and Habsburg empires has evolved into a modern European nation. Hungarian culture is characterized by a rich tradition of folk music, dance, and literature, including the works of poets like Sander Potofi and the composer Franz Liszt. Hungarians are often seen as passionate, proud of their unique language, and fond of spicy food. Hungarian cuisine celebrated for dishes like goulash, paprika chicken, and chimney cake reflects a flavorful Central European heritage. With some of their most iconic landmarks including the Buda Castle, the Thermal Baths, and the charming town of Eger with its medieval castle. Belarus, often referred to as Europe's last dictatorship, has a history deeply intertwined with its larger neighbors, experiencing periods of Lithuanian, Polish, Russian, and Soviet rule before gaining independence in 1991. Its culture reflects a blend of Eastern Slavic traditions, where Belarusians are often depicted as reserved, stoic, and proud of their cultural heritage, with Belarusian cuisine known for dishes like potato pancakes and pork stew. Notable landmarks include the Mir Castle Complex and the Stalin Line, which doesn't help their image of being a dictatorship. Austria. With a history entwined with the Habsburg Empire and a cultural legacy enriched by figures like Mozart, Beethoven, and Freud has evolved into a modern European nation. Austrian culture is characterized by a deep appreciation for classical music, art, and the architectural elegance of cities like Vienna and Salzburg. Austrians are often seen as courteous with a love for outdoor activities and their famous cuisines, renowned for dishes like Wiener Schnitzel, Sauschen Tort, and Apple Strudel. Some of their iconic landmarks include Vienna's Schönbrunn Castle, the classical architecture of the Belvedere Palace, and the breath taking Austrian Alps, which a certain individual tried painting before being rejected from art school and starting World War II. Switzerland, nestled in the heart of Europe, has a history marked by neutrality, diplomacy, and a commitment to federalism. Its rich cultural tapestry is shaped by a fusion of German, French, Italian, and Romanish influences evident in its multilingual society. The Swiss are often perceived as punctual, precise, entitled, and lovers of chocolate, cheese, and watches. Swiss cuisine is celebrated for dishes like fondue, raclette, and rosti, with notable landmarks including the iconic Matterhorn Peak, the medieval Schillian Castle, and the financial hub of Zurich. Serbia, situated at the crossroads of Central and Southeast Europe, has a history shaped by the Byzantine, Ottoman, and Austro-Hungarian empires, as well as its role in former Yugoslavia. Serbians are often characterized as passionate, resilient, and with a strong sense of national pride, with famous cuisine like grilled minced meat, stuffed cabbage rolls, and pepper-based condiments. Some of Serbia's most iconic landmarks include Belgrade's imposing Kalemegdin Fortress, the medieval Studencia Monastery, and the stunning Devolja Veras rock formations. Bulgaria. With a history spanning from the ancient Thracian civilization through the Byzantine and Ottoman empires to its modern era, has a cultural heritage marked by its Cyrillic alphabet, traditional folk music, and works of the literary figures like Ivan Vasov. Bulgarians are often seen as hospitable, proud of their roses or yogurt, and have a deep connection to traditional dance and music. Bulgarian cuisine is famous for their pastry with cheese, slow-cooked meat and vegetables, and shopska salad. Notable landmarks include the Rila Monastery, the ancient city of Plovdiv, and the stunning rock formations of Belgrad Kaik. Denmark. The land of Lego boasts a history that reads like a fairy tale, complete with Vikings, whimsical tales, and a constitutional monarchy that's more chill than a royal drama. The cultural vibe is all about coziness and bike rides, with Danes embodying the concept of Hygge. Danes are often seen as tall, blonde, and always ready with a friendly smile. In the realm of food, there's Smorbrod, Freikadella, Flutbulle, and the obsession with licorice. Notable landmarks include Copenhagen's Neven Harbor, the historic Rosenberg Castle, and its beautiful landscapes. And a weird thing about Denmark is there's also a place called Christiania, where you can get anything illegal and they also leave their babies alone outside in the cold. Finland. With a history marked by Swedish and Russian rule before gaining independence in 1917, Finland has developed into a modern Nordic nation with a unique cultural identity. Finns are often portrayed as introverted, honest, and lovers of natures and saunas while hating the Russians. Famous landmarks include the historic Helsinki Fortress, the iconic Sibelius Monument, and the stunning natural landscapes of the Finnish Lakeland. But guess what? Probably the strangest thing of all is Finland has something called wife carrying championships, where men navigate an obstacle course with their wives slung over their shoulders. Norway. With a history marked by Viking explorations, the Kalmar Union and later a peaceful dissolution of the Union with Sweden in 1905 has evolved into a prosperous and socially progressive Nordic nation. Norwegians are often seen as reserved, nature-loving, and with a dry sense of humor, while their cuisine is celebrated for dishes like fermented fish, dried fish, and traditional bread. Notable landmarks include the stunning fjords, the historic stave churches, and the modernist architecture of Oslo's Opera House. Slovakia. 
with a history intertwined with the Hungarian and Habsburg empires and later Czechoslovakia before gaining independence in 1993, has developed a unique cultural identity. Slovak culture is marked by traditional folk music and dances like the Čardáš. Slovaks are often portrayed as cold, proud of their national traditions, and with a fondness for hearty food. As for their cuisine, they're famous for things like potato dumplings with sheep cheese, cabbage soup, and potato pancakes, with notable landmarks including the medieval Spiss Castle, the charming town of Bardajov, and the high Tatras mountain range. Ireland. With a history marked by Celtic traditions, Viking invasions, and English colonization has developed a rich cultural tapestry. Irish culture is characterized by its folk music, dance, and literary contributions, including the works of poets like W.B. Yeats and James Joyce. The Irish are often portrayed as friendly, quick-witted, and with a love for storytelling and traditional music. Irish cuisine, while evolving, includes iconic dishes like Irish stew, called cannon, and soda bread. Notable landmarks include the historic Rock of Cashel, the Cliffs of Maher, and Dublin's Trinity College. College. And if you happen to be a British royal, you probably won't be welcome here. Croatia. With a history marked by Roman, Byzantine, Venetian, Ottoman, and Austro-Hungarian influences emerged as an independent nation in 1991. Croatians are often seen as passionate, welcoming, and with a love for soccer. Croatian cuisine is celebrated for dishes like marinated beef, baked meat and vegetables, and the iconic Dalmatian ham. Notable landmarks include the Plitvis Lakes National Park, the ancient Diocletian's Palace in Split, and the historic town of Rovin. Georgia. Situated at the crossroads of Eastern Europe and Western Asia, has a history shaped by Persian, Byzantine, Russian, and Soviet domination before gaining independence in 1991. Georgian culture is marked by its unique alphabet, polyphonic singing, and traditional dance. Georgians are often depicted as lively, passionate, and with a deep love for wine and feasting, with their cuisine famous for renowned dishes like cheese-filled bread, dumplings, and flavorful spice mixes. Notable landmarks include the historic city of Uplist Haike, the picturesque town of Sainahi, and the gelato Monastery. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Nestled in the heart of the Balkans, it has a complex history shaped by the Illyrian, Roman, Ottoman, Austro-Hungarian, and Yugoslav influences. Emerging from the dissolution of Yugoslavia in 1992, the country has a unique blend of cultures and traditions. Bosnians are often portrayed as resilient, warm, and with a deep sense of hospitality. Bosnian cuisine is celebrated for dishes like kavapi, burek, and dolma, with notable landmarks including the historic Stari Most, the Ottoman-era Baskarzija, and the medieval town of Josh. Armenia. One of the world's oldest civilizations has a history ruled by Persian, Byzantine, Ottoman, and Soviet influences before gaining independence in 1991. Armenian culture is deeply rooted in its distinctive alphabet and ancient Christian traditions. Armenians are often depicted as bread lovers, proud of their heritage, and with a penchant for hospitality, with some of their most famous dishes being lavash, dolma, and korovats. Notable landmarks include the ancient monastery of Gegherd, Mount Ararat, and the historical city of Yerevan. Lithuania. With a history stretching from the medieval Grand Duchy of Lithuania through periods of Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth and Russian rule, it regained independence in 1990. Lithuanian culture is characterized by its distinctive Baltic traditions, the enduring folklore of songs called Surtartines, and their unique wood-carving artistry. Lithuanians are often seen as reserved, pragmatic, and with a strong connection to nature, with some of their most famous dishes being potato dumplings, cold beet soup, and potato pudding. Notable landmarks include Vilnius's historic old town, the medieval Turkish Kai Island Castle, and the Hill of Crosses. Albania. With a history shaped by Illyrian, Roman, Byzantine, Ottoman, and communist influences emerged as a sovereign nation in 1912. The cultural mosaic is marked by traditional music, unique polyphonic singing, and a strong sense of hospitality. Albanians are often portrayed as fiercely proud, with a penchant for feasts and a deep-rooted concept of besa, a code of honor. Famous foods include the savory pie called bayrek, kofte, and raki to accompany every social gathering. Notable landmarks include the town of Jurokaster, the ancient city of Bratrint, and the vibrant capital Tirana. Moldova. Situated at the crossroads of Eastern Europe, has a history shaped by various empires including the Ottoman, Russian, and Romanians before becoming an independent nation in 1991. Moldovan culture reflects a blend of Romanian and Slavic influences evident in its language, traditions, and folk music. Moldovans are often viewed as hospitable, resilient, and with a strong connection to rural life, with some of their most famous cuisines like cornmeal porridge, stuffed cabbage rolls, and pastries. Notable landmarks include the medieval Sarosa Fortress, the Capriana Monastery, and the iconic Milesty Missy Wine 
Henry. Slovenia. Nestled in the heart of Europe, boasts a history shaped by the medieval glory of the Holy Roman Empire, Habsburg rule, and its independent spirit, culminating in declaring independence from Yugoslavia in 1991. The cultural tapestry showcases a blend of Slavic, Germanic, and Mediterranean influences expressed through traditional dances like kolo and distinctive folk music. Slovenians are often portrayed as pragmatic, friendly, and with an innate love for the great outdoors. Some of the most famous foods include patika, rolled dough with various fillings, and the beloved Prekmurska Giabonica. Notable landmarks include Lake Bled, the charming capital city Ljubljana with its dragon bridge, and the breathtaking Skokshin Caves. North Macedonia. At the crossroads of the Balkans unfolds a history marked by Ottoman and Byzantine influences with a complex journey towards independence in 1991. The cultural landscape is painted with the vibrant hues of traditional Macedonian music, intricate folk dances like the Oro, and a language that stands testament to the nation's unique identity. Macedonians are often depicted as warm, welcoming, and fiercely proud of their heritage, with some of their famous foods including bean casserole, pepper-based condiments, and their national dish of flatbread with spiced meat. Notable landmarks include the Orid, the historic Skopje Fortress, and the modern Skopje cityscape. Latvia. Situated in the Baltic region, has a history shaped by its medieval past, Swedish and Russian rule, and a complex 20th century narrative involving the Baltic state's struggle for independence. Latvian culture is characterized by its ancient pagan and distinctive choral singing traditions. Latvians are often known to be reserved, pragmatic, and with a strong affinity for nature, with their cuisine being famous for things like grape peas with bacon, sweet pie, and bacon rolls. With notable landmarks including the medieval town of Riga, the historic Tereda Castle, and the picturesque Goja National Park. Kosovo. Located in the Balkans, has a history marked by cultural influences including the Illyrian, Roman, Byzantine, Ottoman, and Yugoslav periods where following the Kosovo War in 1999, it declared independence in 2008. The country's culture reflects a blend of Albanian and Serbian traditions, evident in its language, music, and religious heritage. Kosovars are often depicted as resilient, familial, and with a strong sense of identity, with some of their most famous dishes being Flesia, Sogondoma, and Baklava, with notable landmarks including the Grančanica Monastery, the Patriarchate of Pek, and the newborn monument of Pristina, Estonia. Situated in the Baltic region, has a history shaped by Swedish and Russian rule, struggling for independence before gaining recognition in 1920 and again in 1991. Estonian culture is marked by its unique linguistic roots, choral singing traditions, and the technological advancements that earned it the nickname Estonia. Estonians are often portrayed as reserved, tech-savvy, and with a strong connection to nature, where their cuisine is famous for things like blood sausage, milled grains, and curd snacks. Notable landmarks include Tallinn's well-preserved medieval town, the scenic Lehima National Park, and the Kumu Art Museum. Cyprus. Situated in the eastern Mediterranean, has a history marked by ancient civilizations, including the Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, and Ottomans, before becoming a British colony in 1878. The island gained independence in 1960, yet its history remains intertwined with the complex issue of division between the Greek and Turkish communities. Cypriots are often portrayed as warm, family-oriented, and with a penchant for leisurely outdoor activities. Cypriot cuisine is celebrated for dishes like moussaka, halloumi cheese, and souvlaki, with notable landmarks including Kurian, the divided capital of Nicosia, and the stunning beaches of Aya Napa, Luxembourg. Nestled in Western Europe has a history shaped by its strategic position, transitioning from a medieval fortress to a grand duchy and an influential player in the European Union. The country's culture reflects a blend of German and Roman influences, evident in its multilingualism and architectural heritage. Luxembourgers are often known to be multilingual, cosmopolitan, and with a strong work ethic. Some of their most famous cuisine includes smoked pork neck with broad beans and potato fritters, with notable landmarks including the medieval Luxembourg city, the Grand Ducal Palace, and the picturesque Vienna. London Castle. Montenegro. Situated along the Adriatic Sea, has a history marked by Illyrian, Venetian, Ottoman, and Yugoslav influences before gaining independence in 2006. Montenegrin culture is characterized by a blend of Slavic and Mediterranean elements, seen in its traditional music, dance, and the architectural heritage of coastal towns like Kodr. Montenegrins are often portrayed as proud, hospitable, and with a deep connection to their rugged landscape. And some of their most famous foods include dishes like smoked ham, cornmeal and potato mash, along with various seafood dishes. Dishes. Notable landmarks include the Bay of Coder, the Ostrog Monastery, and the Dermeter National Park. Malta. Situated in the Mediterranean, boasts a history dating back to ancient civilizations, with influences from the Phoenicians, Romans, Arabs, Normans, Knights of St. John, and the British. The Maltese culture reflects a rich blend of Mediterranean and European elements, seen in its traditional festas, language, and unique architectural heritage. The Maltese are known to be warm, family-oriented, and with a deep sense of pride in their history, with some of their most famous dishes being pastizi, brincada, and mgarit. With their most notable landmarks including the temples of Hagar, Kim, and Menagerah, the medieval town of Medina, and the capital Valletta. 
Iceland. Situated in the North Atlantic has a history shaped by its Norse settlement in the 9th century, followed by centuries of isolation and later integration into the Kingdom of Denmark before regaining independence in 1944. Icelandic culture is characterized by its sagas, traditional literature, and unique Icelandic language. Icelanders are often known to be resilient, friendly, and with a strong connection to nature and the winter, with their most famous dishes including fermented shark, cultured dairy products, and the iconic hot dog. Notable landmarks include the powerful Gullfoss waterfall, the geothermal wonders of Geyser and Stroker, and the Vatnajökull National Park. Andorra. Nestled in the Pyrenees between France and Spain has a history marked by its status as a co-principality, jointly ruled by the French president and the Bishop of Urgril in Spain. The culture of Andorra reflects a blend of Catalan and French influences, evident in its language, customs, and festivals. Andorans are often known to be resilient, pragmatic, and with a strong connection to the mountain life, with famous foods including potato and cabbage dish, meat and vegetable stew, and cocas. Notable landmarks include the medieval stone bridges of St. Julia de Loria, the Romanesque Church of Santa Colma, and ski resorts like Grand Valera. Liechtenstein, a tiny principality nestled in the Alps between Switzerland and Austria, has a history marked by its strategic location and alliance with the Holy Roman Empire, later becoming an independent principality in 1719. Liechtenstein's culture is influenced by its Germanic roots and its history as a sovereign nation with the German Confederation. Liechtensteiners are often portrayed as discreet, prosperous, and with a strong connection to the outdoors. And despite its size, it's well known for dishes like cheese noodles, potato dishes, and different appetizer plates. With notable land Landmarks including the medieval Vaduz Castle, the contemporary Kunstmuseum Liechtenstein, and the scenic landscapes of the Rhine Valley. Monaco. A glorious principality on the French Riviera has a history shaped by its strategic location and the Grimaldi family, who have ruled since the 13th century. The culture of Monaco reflects a blend of French and Mediterranean influences, seen in its language, arts, and opulent events like the Monte Carlo Opera and the Formula One Grand Prix. Monegas are often portrayed as affluent, sophisticated, and with a penchant for luxury living. While Monaco may not have a distinct traditional cuisine, it hosts world-class restaurants offering a variety of culinary delights. Notable landmarks include the iconic Monte Monte Carlo Casino, the Prince's Palace, and the Oceanographic Museum. San Marino. The world's oldest republic is situated on Mount Titano within Italy. Its history dates back to the establishment of a small community in 301 AD by St. Marinus. The culture of San Marino is deeply rooted in its medieval heritage, with influences from both Italy and the broader European context. The people here are known to be proud of their independence, friendly, and with a strong sense of community, with famous foods including Passatelli, Torta Tremonti, and Piadina. And some of the most notable landmarks include the three medieval towers on Mount Titano, the Basilica di San Marino, and the public palace. Vatican City, the world's smallest country and the spiritual center of Roman Catholicism, has a history intertwined with the Catholic Church and papacy. Established as an independent city-state in 1929, Vatican City is home to St. Peter's Basilica, one of the world's largest churches and the iconic St. Peter's Square. The culture of Vatican City is centered around the Catholic faith, with its museums housing priceless artistic treasures, including Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel ceiling. Inhabitants, primarily consisting of clergy and officials, are seen as devout, scholarly, and dedicated to the church. And while Vatican City doesn't have have a distinct cuisine, visitors can enjoy Italian and Roman delicacies in its small restaurants. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and let me know what you want me to explain next.